Hi, this is Ree Morgan for T3 Inside London's best place to shop, the Westfield Shopping Centre. I'm sitting outside the car phone warehouse, and inside is Europe's first Microsoft Surface. It's the latest innovation from Microsoft. It's a completely touchscreen surface that lets you interact with your music, maps, and also photos. You've seen it in the Bond film. Let's see what it's like in real life. Okay, so here it is, the Microsoft Surface. And this is kind of the home screen, we've got everything switched off. And then there's this water pool, and it interacts with your touch, and you can kind of create your own world pool using it. And the way it works is we've got these four buttons on the side here, and whichever one of you presses it, that's the way the screen will face. So I'm going to be sitting here, so I'm going to press this one. And you go into the home screen, which has got all the functionalities on there. At the moment, it's only got three, so it's got the maps, the music, and the photos. Hopefully, when they roll it out later this year, they'll have things like word processes on there, be able to link up to the internet, and do a whole host of other things on it. So we're going to go into the maps. So you just press on it, and it'll go in. And it'll pinpoint exactly where you are when you're using the surface. As you can see, we're here now in Westfield. And you can use two ways to use a map. You can use your road map, or you can use the satellite map. So if we go into the road map, and you use multi-touch to kind of zoom in like this, or you can zoom out and you can flip it around as you're zooming out so you can share with whoever else is using the table with you. Next one is the music here. So you double click on that and it goes into it. So you've got all your albums along here. You can scroll through, pick the album you want, or you can search by category hitting this little button here. So you can flip through, you find there's a bit of blues, a bit of pop folk. I'm going to go with rock. And then you get all the albums that you've put in that genre there. So you kind of pick an album. And this is the music player here. So you can drag and drop tracks from an album. Not that one. There it is. Into your music player. And it's got an inbuilt speaker on it with a subwoofer. So if you turn it up, you've got the volume controls here. It's quite a hefty sound. So the photo works pretty similar to the way the music works. So you've got all your albums here in this little pod. You can search it through genre at the top here. So kind of if you've had a night out, you can call it that category. So I'm going to go into X Factor. So all the pictures that come up that you've got in that category, and you can drag and drop them, and then you can flip them around, you can zoom in. It takes a bit of getting used to with the multi-touch, but... And then obviously as well, with the music player, using the music session, you'll be able to put your camera on and just take all your pictures out and kind of drag and drop them, and then you'll be able to share it with other cameras and kind of use it in that way. So really being really interactive, which is the whole point of this table. So other things you'll be able to do that you can't do this one because it's a prototype. For example, when you're ordering a pizza or a takeaway, if you make the order and then you want to pay for it, but there's four of you, you can all put your credit cards on the table and kind of pay using it like that instead of having to split it at the end. So there's really there's so much things you'll be able to do with it. So hopefully, finger cro fingers crossed, the next year this will come out. It's going to be around £10,000. So it's not going to be like your pocket money spent on it. But hopefully, it's really exciting and really exciting things coming from Microsoft. So fingers crossed we'll have something within this year. Come <laughs> on,